My name is Clara Kramer, and I'm a survivor of the Holocaust. And I'm alive today because one righteous Christian family risked their life to save us. And they saved 18 Jews. There were 5,000 Jews in our city. After the liberation by the Russian soldiers, we were 52. Why did people save me? This man, he himself said, I'm an anti-Semite. I always wanted Poland without Jews, but not this way. And I have to do my part if I want to live with myself. And when he took us in, it was the Battle of Stalingrad. And everybody said that the war will be over in six weeks. Believe you me, if we knew or he knew that it is going to be 20 months, we wouldn't have attempted because we were in a crawl space. People think when we were liberated, everything was hunky-dory. When you are hiding and all you want is you want to live. My sister perished. There was a fire. The house was on fire, and she wanted to live, so she ran out. And we decided to burn down there. They saved the house, but she was caught by a boy who went with her to school and sold her out. You want to live, no matter how bad you have, you want to live. You crawl into the smallest hole. And we were there for almost two years, 20 months. The last few months, we had German soldiers who requisitioned rooms uh, upstairs, and they were just over our heads. And they were working for the Telegraph. That meant that always one of them was sleeping. Can you imagine how we behaved that we could hear the cl click of the electric switch? We were afraid to breathe. I wrote a diary in the bunker. My mother, bless her memory, was obsessed with education. The minute we came to the bunker, she says, you are writing a diary. Sma, they will kill us anyway, because we didn't believe. You just don't volunteer to die. So she said, they will find it and know what happened to you. The diary is today in Washington in the museum. So I write in that diary every German by name. There were six of them. And I had a favorite one because Richard, when he came to the room, he put on the radio full blast and he sang all the time so we could breathe. Nobody would believe that we lived with the Germans almost. Of course, they didn't know we are there, otherwise I wouldn't be sitting here. But you want to live. You know, when I hear the number six million, I don't feel good about it. You know why? I'm one. I have two sons. I have five grandchildren. So you know, now you know the numbers. This isn't six million, it's a generation.